So welcome back to a video. It's been a while since I've put up my last one about Mindustry. But what I want to do first off is show off uh, the new logic processors. To do that, I'm just going to spawn one of these waves, and we're going to wait for them to get a little bit closer. So there we go, i got some swarmers coming in. And the range of a foreshadow is um, approximately that blue titanium. So let's just wait for them to get around this corner here. And this is going to come on, and all the front line is going to light up here. So this is some basic logic that I've written into these logic processors, uh, because it has a huge savings in power. For instance, these, these overdrive projectors and these force projectors only need to be on when enemies are in range. Otherwise, there's no reason to be diverting a lot of your power production to uh, dealing with enemies. So, um, before I get into the actual code of these logic processors, if you haven't subscribed yet, um, please do so below. I'm trying to reach a thousand subs to uh, hit one of my personal goals, and love for you to be part of this. Anyway, let's get into the microprocessor here. So I have this set up to do a little bit of output and control this battery diode. So there's no way to uh, directly influence whether or not a node is connected to the power network, but you can do uh, something like this with a battery and battery diode. So let's take a look at this first. Uh, you need to connect the microprocessor to all the blocks. You do that by holding control on the computer and you can toggle these on and off. So I have the foreshadow, the diode, and the message block. So over here I um, have a radar element that's coming from the foreshadow one and targeting enemies, um, whatever enemies closest, and it's going to output the value to this variable called enemy. So then I have an operation to determine whether or not um, there is an enemy, and I call that uh, variable DEFCON. So DEFCON in military terms is whether or not your um, your armies need to be prepared for war. So if there's an enemy detected and that enemy is not null, then it's going to uh, give a true value for DEFCON. So right now the message block is set to the value um, of the sensor in the foreshadow. So currently it's giving a zero and that's telling DEFCON to be uh, null. So if um, every time this uh, um, goes through the operations, it sets the value of the diode, which is controlling the power flow, to the value of DEFCON. So if there is a unit detected, it's going to turn on that diode, otherwise it's going to be off, and it's printing out the value to that message block. So if we change this from enemy to player, you can see how this works. So currently it's giving a value of 1. Uh, because I'm in range. If I leave range of this foreshadow, it will turn off. It will go back to a value of zero. But as soon as I come in range, this block is able to detect, and the power is restored to the front line. So I'm going to put this back on to enemy, and let's run the wave one more time. So a similar concept to this could be really helpful for doing a few other things. For instance, if you had um, these blocks to control things like uh, a subfactory, say you had a factory over here producing plastanium and it's using all your titanium, you could have a diode to check the value of the uh, amount of plastanium in, in the core. If it was above a certain level, it could turn off the use of uh, titanium if there's less than a thousand titanium, for instance, or other things like that. This could be really helpful for um, balancing out your systems and prioritizing power and resources to what's most important. I may do a few more videos in the future about uh, microprocessors. I think the logic's pretty cool, and there's a lot of cool things that you could do with this in game, especially in PvP. Anyway, thanks for watching, and stick around for some of the next ones.